Good afternoon. A river of orange is now flowing into New Mexico after the accidental release of mine, release of mine waste. The big question, what is in that water? Many are demanding answers, including the governor of New Mexico and the Navajo Nation. This is what the Animas River has been transformed into. The contaminants flowed through Durango and across the New Mexico state line overnight. That Animas is the main feed into the San Juan River. It has prompted communities along the route to shut off valves leading to their water supply, drinking water. But right now, no one knows exactly what that orange sludge contains. An alert from the Colorado Department of Natural Resources cited it as possible zinc and iron, but we've received no official declaration from the EPA, the agency behind that spill. They do say that about a million gallons of wastewater was accidentally released by their workers during a cleanup of the abandoned Gold King mine in Silverton. Navajo Nation officials are demanding answers, saying it could not only affect people, but animals and farms. Residents are concerned. They're supposed to be responsible for cleaning it up, not making this mess. That's, right. So it puts a damper on all our, our industry of the recreation industry. Now we have learned this water will not reach the Rio Grande, even though we do get part of our drinking water from the San Juan, Chama, San Juan tributaries. Now that orange line is where the contamination is flowing west through Farmington, Arizona. We get our water from farther east, that red circle there near Chama. That is an area that will not be hit by this pollution. Now, until we know what is in the water, officials are telling people to stay out of the river. We do have crews up in the Farmington area where a lot of tests are being done and efforts are underway to protect that drinking water supply. We'll have much more from them coming up later on News 13.